Okay, so I just want to explain. You get several tables. The very first table that you get, I'm just going to go back here real quick, <clears throat> is, okay, you're going to get your between subjects, just going to tell you how many people are in each group, and your basic descriptive strats for mean of happiness, 3.2, 4.88, and 4.85. And then the next table that you get is going to be your test of between subjects. I'm going to skip back here to the PowerPoint. Okay, so what you're going to notice here is this is just your basic ANOVA. Okay, so we didn't co-vary, we didn't control for the puppy love. All right, and here we have a non-significant result between the groups. All right, so it doesn't matter how much time you spend with the puppy, it doesn't have any effect. Okay, so this was our ANOVA, but then we thought, well, maybe it makes a difference if a person loves dogs. And so we controlled the different group of people. We got, uh, we measured their love for puppies and we measured their dose. And so the interpretation of this table is this significant value right here tells us that the person's happiness is significantly influenced by their love for the puppy and when you remove that so when I when I control for puppy love there is a um, significant effect of puppy therapy all right so in other words I'm controlling for how much they love their dog and because that is an influencer on happiness so I'm going to control for that and then what I find is that there is a significant um, effect on the time that a person spends with their dog um, and how much happiness that they have. And so Andy goes on to a little bit more and he talks about the amount of variation accounted for by puppy therapy has increased to 25 versus over here only 16. All right, so variation, remember, is the explanation of happiness as a result of the dose response. Okay, so 25% of a person's happiness is explained by their amount of time they spend with the dog when we control for how much they love their dog, all right, which this is a greater amount than this right here. So in essence, what our ANCOVA does is it separates out the um, variables that influence happiness. All right, so... That's your main test of between subjects effects. So hang on, I'm going to break this um, down a little bit more each by each table.